Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brad, and welcome back to Scream and Pirate EDC. Today, we have a double knife unboxing, one budget, one not so much. Uh, but before we get into that, let's do a little bit of consistency here. Uh, it's a little hot for coffee, so I have some sweet tea, because you know I'm in the South. <laughs> uh, next, the Hank is from Little Hanks. This is the Supernatural Hank. I just, I love it, guys. It's fantastic. Very me, love the show, love the Hank. After that, we have the Still Time Coin V2. Very cool coin. Let me flip him around for you guys from Grim Pocket. And then lastly, for our unboxing knife, we have uh, right here. This is the real Steel Roca with a micarta handle. Now this matters and I'll get to it in a second once we get to the first knife. Um, so what do we have today? Um, you probably already saw in the description and in the title, um, we have a new offering from Artisan Cutlery. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this from a couple other YouTubers, but I wanted to check it out for myself. Uh, now this is an exclusive. Um, I believe it was White Mountain Knives. I'll have a pop-up for you guys, and let's go and grab it. So we have an Artisan Cutlery box. Uh, pretty plain, but nice uh, embossing on that uh, top part. That's pretty nice. I like that a whole lot. So let's go and open it up. Ooh, pouch with like a nice little gold tab and a birth card. So let's go and grab that and see if I can get that held up for you guys. So there we go. All right, let's open up the pouch. Hey, it came right out of the plastic. So this is, uh, and I'm probably gonna say it wrong, guys. The Orion, I think it is. It's A-R-I-O-N, I'm probably gonna say it wrong. But this is a liner lock version of the bigger knife, and it's actually budget. It's in their uh, budget steel. Oh gosh, the A-R-R-P-M-9 steel. So actually very small, but that micarta feels really nice. Uh, well, let's go and give it a flip. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so the action is good. I like that opening. Falls to the nail, needs a little bit of a shake. I hear a little grit. It's probably just dried out from shipping, but right out of the box, it's pretty good. Yeah, um, it's not super chamfered. It's chamfered on the whole, but yeah, I like the access to the liner. Let's go ahead and show that off to you guys. Uh, it looks good. I like that blade shape a whole heck of a lot. That kind of like almost like a spear point. Um, yeah, very cool. That has recessed pocket screws for that deep carry clip. I love that. Um, on bearings, large glove, fits in my hand nice. Yeah. Jumping's in a decent spot. It hits about right here, about the back of my thumb if I'm gonna be using it. But for a large hand, that's good. And they're under a hundred bucks. So drop to the finger and toss close. That's very interesting. Um, I definitely wanna lube this up. It definitely feels a little bit gritty, but I think with some lube, it will be fine. So now that we have it in the box, the whole reason I had the Roca out is they are both under hundred dollars. Uh, micarta handled knives. So let's go ahead and put that up there for you guys. That is next to your Roca on the bottom. Very interesting. I really like the design from Cerberus. Uh, I like the minimal uh, markings on the blade, as it were, on both of these. I really don't like a whole lot of billboarding like you have on the one side of the real steel, but it's not terrible. Uh, if I had to pick one, I'd pick the, uh, the Artisan, I gotta say. I think it's gonna be a little bit slicier and Honestly, I like being able to flick like that. And it, for a small knife like that, I like something that's a little bit smaller, a little bit more manageable. The, the Roca is a big knife. It just is, in my opinion. Now, another knife for you guys to compare this to is gonna be the Civivi Imperium. So there you go. And I think this is one of the best Civivi offerings right now. And I just wanted you guys to see that side by side. So we have that. Now. Now that we have that undone and everything out in that box, I have something else for you guys. This uh, is pretty highly anticipated. Uh, if you don't know, the Chavez Group Knife, ooh, that, that Orion is slicey, guys, woo. 
Um, the Orion, uh, the Chavez group knife is if you are in the Chavez knife group. It's, it's not the buy, sell, trade one. It's the other one. This is making a lot of noise. I apologize, guys. Let me slice open the rest of that so it stops making all that noise. Hey, look at that. Okay. So this knife, every year, Ramon Chavez does a group knife. Now, he denotated some way. Sometimes he'll just put like 2021 in a cool graphic that he laser engraves. Well, apparently he got tired of doing that. And he wanted to make it even more unique. So... Uh, back in February, he announced this, and it is a bolster lock of his scapegoat. So super exciting, guys. I don't know that Ramon's ever done a bolster lock before. So let's go ahead and cut him there. Hey, now. Okay, so new boxes. Very nice. I like that embossing. Magnetic flap. Let's go ahead and pop it open. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh man, guys, you guys got to see this. Look at that. Whew. So this actually has the uh, changeable clip to be the non-skull clip, which is very cool. Well, let me go ahead and grab this out of the pouch so you guys can see what I am looking at. Oh my God, guys. So it is Lava Flow Fat Carbon. Um, and if you look right about here, you can see that he denoted that it has a uh, group knife. I think it looks great. I like the subtlety there, but I love that this is what makes it unique. That fat carbon. I'll flip that over for you guys. So, let's give it a flip. D10 is a touch light, but, yeah, I'm not past it yet. There's my D10. Glide shut. Can I finger? Can I middle fling, finger flick it? Ooh, it's going to be a tough one, isn't it? I bet I'm up all, all up on that lock bar. I can, but it's a little bit awkward. I bet with time, and I bet with breaking it in. Oh well, there you go. That's not too bad. Uh, the action's good as long as you break that detent. That just glides shut, guys. That's that's kind of crazy. So. Now that we have the knife open, let have you guys have a nice long look at that beautiful knife. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Love the grind lines, love the choil. Let's see how it fits in my hand. So again, large gloves, seven and a quarter from the base to the tip, four outside to side to side. So there's how it fits in my hand, not choked up. You guys can see that right there. And there is my choke up. Oh, that's comfortable. Ooh, I like that. Now, is this flat or hollow oh that's gotta be a hollow grind guys that is whoo oh man i love it guys i i'm in love i like I, this is fantastic this with all the corners i'm feeling here the chamfering this is the best shop as i've ever uh owned that isn't that i haven't touched that isn't production so to put that in a, a little bit of relevance for you guys. I have owned every group knife, which is a Redensian Street, a 229, and a Liberation, and I had a Blackout Liberation, and a G10 Redensian Street. Easily, this one has the best chamfering on all of the corners, and I would say, as long as I can fin middle finger flick it, a little hard on the studs, it's meant to be with the thumb, and I can tell. Um, but yeah, as soon as that smooths out and I can middle finger flick it, that's the most comfortable to hold, too. And I think a lot of it has to do with that neutral handle, guys. Uh, it's super comfy. I really like it. Um, I don't really like where the detent ball is, but I mean, once you break it, it just glides. That's phenomenal. That's really good, guys. That's really good. I really like that. Wow. Yeah. Um, well, be expecting more pictures of both of these over on my Instagram. Um, I'll go ahead and hold these up for you guys so you can see them side by side. Don't you guys get a nice, good look at those? All right, I'm going to go ahead and set those down for you guys. Now, remember, stickers are available. They are going to be, and I brought the price down for you guys, they're going to be $1.50 a piece. So $1.50 a piece, and that is shipped. I will have a pop-up with my email and Instagram. Just let me know if you want one. Uh, and I will send one out to you. 
Well, that is all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you are enjoying the unboxings. I've got a lot more videos and ideas coming for you guys really soon. And you know what? I will catch you guys on the next one.